Ulysses may be my favorite app on any platform for anything. I really love it. And one of the things that it does really well, and it's I, I don't have time to go over everything today, so one thing I wanna to touch on today is just how you publish from Ulysses straight to your ghost blog. And then the workflow for WordPress, which most likely more of you will be using, is very similar. Uh, but I'm just gonna use ghost as the example because that's what my site runs on. So what I've got here is a short article that I've written and I wanna publish. And so to make that happen, I just hit the share button up here, or you can do command six to bring this up. And it's already showing a preview of it. That's because I've already configured this. If you hadn't done this already, you'd click up here and then you'd wanna to go to the format list and make sure you choose publishing. And then you wanna choose which account you have. You'll probably not have one. Hit add account and then you can choose from ghost, medium, wordpress.com or a custom WordPress site. So for ghost, you would add it and all you have to do is add the URL for your blog, the email address and password that you use to log into your ghost account. And then it will sync up and then you'll be able to select it from this list. So I already have it set up and I can see it here. So I get a preview to make sure it looks right. Everything looks good to me. So I'm gonna hit this arrow and then I get the publish screen. And so you can take this to publish the first line of the document and update on Birchtree. If I wanna change that, I can change that. You can change the schedule. So by default, it'll do immediately. And then the status can be published or it can be draft. So if you just wanna publish the draft to your server and then publish it from the ghost admin, you can do that. I tend to just publish straight from Ulysses. And then scheduling is powerful. You can do immediately or you can do on a certain date and time and you have the full date picker here where you can move things around to be whatever you want. I'm gonna do immediately for this one so we can see it right away though. You can add a post image. And so this would be the featured image for the blog post. Uh, if you want, you can hit add image, pull in things from your photo library, the files app, or snap a photo uh, with your iPad, which would be interesting, but you could totally do that. And that would show up at the top of your blog post. However, your theme is set up to handle featured images. You can also attach an image to your blog post. So if you attach an image to the file in Ulysses to the sheet, then that will automatically pull in here. This post doesn't have one, so I'm gonna move on. You can edit the post URL, so it's going to automatically parse the title of the blog post, but you can change this to whatever you want. You can update tags, so all of your tags from your blog will show here. Uh, this is a meta post, so let me find meta. It's actually kind of inconvenient. It doesn't totally alphabetize them. I'm not quite sure what the order is here. Um, I can't find it, so I'm just going to go in here and do meta, oops, meta, enter. And now I have the tag. Go back, you can see that's there. You can do multiple tags if you'd like. You can do an excerpt. So if you do something with excerpts on your blog, you can type that in here. As far as I know, there's no way to automatically have this generate, but you can do something there. And then the action. So the action is what happens after you post the blog. I have it set up to none, uh, but you can make it so it opens the editor. So it'll open Safari in your uh, ad ghost admin with the ability for you to make edits, or you can just view the post. You can go to Safari and see the post. Um, I'm just gonna do none because that's kind of what I like to do. I like to move the sheet for this blog post to another folder in Ulysses after I'm done. So I just do none, so I'm stay, staying in Ulysses. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish. It's gonna push for a second, there we go, and it's all done. And so for my workflow, I need to go over here, move it to my completed section. There we go. And then if I go into Safari, and go to Birch Tree. I should see it right there. So an update on Birch Tree. I can see the blog post. It's using my theme and everything, of course, and looks just how I'd like it to look. But yeah, that's all it is. It's very simple. If we go back to Ulysses, uh, we can kind of see, you kind of have to go to the share page to configure it. But again, up here, you'll see, I think it defaults to text as an option, so it'll default to text. So you'll see this and you'll be like, hmm, that's not quite right. So you click into that, change the format to publishing, and then you can choose which one of these you wanna add. They're all basically the same with slightly different uh, names for things, different features, uh, but the overall feature set is exactly the same. So that is posting to Ghost from Ulysses.